Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an LOC tutorial and I first I'm grabbing my trusty e.l.f. concealer, not really concealer, but eye primer, putting that all over my lids and this is in the color Sheer, as usual. And then I'm just patting it all over my eye, making sure that it's even all over the place. And then I'm grabbing the Impress Me, which is the darkest shade neutral region. It's called Impress Me, and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And I found with this LOC brand, the shadows I have found on my lids, I have to have a primer. Uh, Tati said that you don't, but my lids were really bad and they creased. So I'm putting Day Trip on the center, very center of my lids, and this just brings brightness to my eyes. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. contour brush and just spreading that out a little bit. And then I'm taking my NYX Nude Matte Shadow in Trist, and I'm taking that same brush and just putting it in my outer corner. That way I have a little bit of definition in the corners. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out and make sure that everything is nice and blended. And then I'm going to take that gold color and I'm going to put it in my inner corner. And then I'm going to take my small precision brush and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. Next I'm going to, I'm going to take my coal liner from e.l.f. and this is in black and I'm just going to line both of my eyes. And then I'm going to smudge out the line that's on the other side of the coal liner and that'll give it more of a smoky look and something that I like to do. So with these shadows they are supposed to be like cream almost like cream and then they'll dry down and they'll just stay put no matter what. Other than that this is very pigmented. So as I was saying you have to blend this right away or else it will set and it'll just set with, you know, messiness. So just blend it one eye at a time. And here I'm just putting in the crease color right now. And that's pretty much self-explanatory. Then I went in with that crease color again and just kept on uh, blending. So now I'm going to grab my fluffy brush, my trusty fluffy broken brush, and then just line my lash line again, and that's all there is to it. Of course here I wiped off some of my mistakes. It hadn't set completely yet. So now I'm going to go in with my concealer, and this is going to be the Age Rewind Concealer in Light, as I always use. This is my trusty concealer, just putting that all over my face, and under my nose, and blemishes that I had. For some reason they keep popping up. And I'm just going to blend this out with my Real Techniques brush. This is the contour brush and I got this in a set from Ulta the other day. It was on sale for 25% off. It can be kind of pricey normally but I really like the brush set so far. Next I'm going to highlight underneath. I wanted to go full out today and of course I'm using my Fit Me Concealer in Fair. I'm just putting that all over my uh, top of my head and down my nose, blending that out in my eyes, underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to take my Clinique Even Better Makeup. It has an SPF 15 and this is in the shade Alabaster. I've had this about a year and a half. I'm not sure if it's expired, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. the foundation brush. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. This is a great foundation for me personally. If you go to Clinique, uh, they can tailor the makeup for your specific skin needs. I am really love going there and uh, getting the makeup from there. This is the foundation that I use when I am really fair, like my lightest fair, and I'm not completely out of my tan yet, but I'm really impatient and I like to just change up my makeup right away. Since I am impatient, I have to bring the foundation down my neck to make sure that my neck and my face match a little bit more. So I'm contouring with the Maybelline concealer in deep and I'm just going to blend that out with my stippling brush from e.l.f. This did not turn out as ashy as I wanted it to be. It looks a little bit more uh, muddy on camera and I'm not sure if it's the camera if I'm actually having problems but this is what happened so hope that you either learn not to do it or to do what I'm doing. So I recently got the Neutral Fair Almost Powder Makeup from Clinique. I really like this so far. It has a little bit of SPF but not enough to mean anything. I really like the foundation because it sits really nicely on my skin. 
I have put it on my problem areas near my nose and it did kind of show the bumps a little bit but I was using a concealer underneath so I need to test it out more but so far I really love this foundation. I like to put on powder foundation when I am not wanting to do a full face. I just want to put on a little bit of concealment for the... I guess I have freckles. So now I'm taking the Master Highlights by Face Studio. It's in um, light bronze and I'm bronzing up my cheeks. And in the viewfinder, this looked a lot muddier than I thought. That's why I'm making faces because I am a little bit disturbed. So I just grabbed a fluffy brush and tried to blend it out more and get some of that product off. It looked even more muddy over that on that side. So good times, good times. But Makeup is all about learning and blending and trying to figure out what you did that you didn't like before and then changing your tactics for the next time. So I'm trying to figure out what blush to wear, if I should have the pink or the more peachy. So I went with the e.l.f. in Tickle Pink and I'm using my e.l.f. blush brush. I use a lot of e.l.f. products and I just like to pat it onto my face instead of swipe it. I think so far that this is the best technique for me personally. So for this look, I also am blending out everything with my overall brush, the Techniques Buffing Brush. And I just do that because I don't like to have a strip of bronzer and then a strip of everything else. So I'm just going along my bottom lash line and smoking out and using Impress Me, the darkest color. And I'm smudging it out with a small smudge brush. Next I'm going in with my lip color and I'm going in the Bite in rhubarb and I got this in my play with Sephora box I really like this color it's beautiful and dark I think it's like a pinky brown next I'm going in with Tati's the LOC uh, lip color this is a matte lip color in first kiss it is a pinky nude and I didn't want just the pink nude on so there's the finished look kind of. I ended up chiseling out my contour a little bit more because I felt like it was too far down my base. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I haven't even put on eyebrow stuff or mascara. So here I am posing for nothing. So I finally remember, realized what was going on and I just put in this brow pencil. It's in a dark brown. I think it's by Ofra. And then I chased it with a spoolie so everything looked more seamless. And then I ended up putting the Maybelline powder on top just to keep everything from flying around. Then I'm using tons of mascara. I started off with this Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara. Did more of a dry mascara and then I went in with the City Color Be Bold three times extra volume and the then I put in the uh, Mild Mega Plump Double Threat Mascara. They have a very tiny wand for the bottom lashes. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs it up if you did and I will talk to you later. Bye!